Greetings YouTube, this is Chris McKee with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. Today we are going to be doing a bit of a Martin Guitars uh, buyer's guide for you, going through and explaining some of the nuanced differences that you'll find in the Martin Guitars lineup uh, through the various series, models, body sizes, uh, wood options, and even something beautiful like this custom shop that I'm holding in my lap here. I know I'm surrounded by Martin Guitars and all of you have great sympathy for me, but I do it for you. I want you to remember that. So if you have any questions about the details and specs of these guitars, I want you to go online to alamomusic.com and I'll be referencing that a few times because price is subject to change, but what you'll find, generally speaking, as we go through Martin's lineup is that there's a lot of variation in Martin's lineup. And that is due to a number of reasons. For one thing, Martin is the most historic acoustic guitar company in the United States. And because of their rich history, the models that they make and feature in their catalog of guitars has changed and uh, evolved over the years. And so you'll find some series have certain nut widths that are narrower or wider, different bracing uh, that's scalloped or tapered, that's narrower or wider, different tone bars, all sorts of various things, nuanced differences in the specs. And what's great about that is there is a guitar for you. I can guarantee you that in Martin's lineup, you are going to find a guitar to suit your needs because I can point you to the guitar with a particular nut width, neck shape, bracing, tone wood combination, inlay pattern, what have you historical significance, new pickups, gig ready, or heirloom quality. They have everything. Because of that, there can be some confusing moments too when you're trying to sort through what the differences are. And so I hope that our explanation of some of this today will help you in trying to decide which Martin guitar best fits your needs. So we're going to get started, not on the custom shop, We'll be coming back to this beautiful water ball boobing, or waterfall bubinga guitar later on. For now, we are going to start with one of my favorite guitars, and that's Martin's Junior Dreadnought. So this is a relative newcomer to Martin's lineup, and we've done a full review of the Dreadnought Junior before, so take a look at our YouTube channel and search for that. You'll find that along with the comparison between this and another behemoth in the smaller than full-size guitar category, which is the Taylor GS Mini. What this has going for it is a very comfortable, slightly longer scale neck at 24 inches, so a slightly longer scale than say like a GS Mini. It's a one and three quarter inch nut, which is a little wider, which I like a lot. It's very comfortable in my hand, gives you a little bit more room, perfect for finger picking and flat picking, and it's all solid wood. So. Martin makes a little Martin, which we've shown in videos. They have an Ed Sheeran version, which we've shown in videos. But this Junior Dreadnought is where we're going to start because it really is an all solid wood guitar at a fantastic price. There's an acoustic version and an acoustic electric version, which I have here. Controls are here in the sound hole. Solid spruce top, solid sapele back and sides. There's a sapele top version as well. And all for the price point of about five to six hundred dollars, depending upon which version you get. You also get a nice gig bag with it. So the Dreadnought Junior is one of the Martins that's made in their uh, factory down in Mexico, and that's what we're going to see for the price conscious or economical versions from Martin. They're making really price buster guitars in solid wood, um, as well as some laminate models down in Mexico. And the Dreadnought Junior is the first one. So. Let me give it a, a play a demo for you so you can hear what it sounds like with all the beautiful Dreadnought Junior Gloriness that comes with it. All right, here we go. Okay, so the next guitar from uh, their Mexico factory that we're going to look at is the X-Series. Now, this is a series of guitars 
today I have one of these in my lap, um, and this is the DX1AE. Now the X-Series all have a few things in common. It's a solid top with A-frame bracing and HPL, which is high pressure laminate back and sides. They also have Stratabond necks, and you know how I feel about these. Stratocasters had to die for these really, really cool necks, but the design was worth it. It's a joke. All right, uh, rich light fingerboards and bridges. Chrome tuners, you can get it with either a Sitka spruce top like this. There are some Sapele topped models with Macassar Ebony back and sides that have been very popular. We have featured a variety of these guitars on our page and they come in a variety of body sizes. So, so far we've seen Dreadnoughts. Pretty soon we're going to be seeing some double O's and triple O's and, and whatnot. This is a Dreadnought shape. You can also get a triple O version of this guitar and a GP, which is Grand Performance body shape in the X series as well. So the X series by and large is going to be a laminate body, solid spruce or sapele top. There is uh, a few laminate topped versions in their lineup as well. Think of it as the uh, south of the border Martin with an incredible price tag. So if you've always wanted a Martin, you've wanted that historic, throaty, full tone of a Martin guitar, but you're on a budget, this guitar's for you. Or maybe it's your first guitar, but you want a really good quality guitar to be your first guitar, well, you can't really go wrong with Martin. They've been doing it longer than anybody else, pretty much. So, check it out. Here's the DX1 AE. Okay, so the last product that is made in Tex or in, made in Martin's Mexico factory is the Road Series. And make no bones about it, I have not been shy of saying this. I'm a huge fan, huge fan of Martin's Road Series guitar. This is the DRS-1. In the the Road Series lineup has grown exponentially. Uh, this year alone. There are more models in that lineup than there ever have been before. And so if you are wanting a guitar that is all solid wood, um, checks off certain boxes as far as playability, value, pickup, case, tone, there's a lot to choose from now in the Rhodes series. And, uh, and they're great. So this has been kind of the tried and true guitar in that lineup for a long, long time. Uh, if you go to alamomusic.com, you can take a look at the DRSG, which is another Road Series guitar that's new for this year and, and a few others that I'm huge fans of. Um, so satin finishes, gloss finishes, but here's the thing that you need to know. The DRS-1, for instance, is around $750 currently. Okay, prices can change, but 750 bucks. You get all solid wood construction, solid top, back, and sides, Sapele in this case. So this rich mahogany color, this nice mahogany tone, very throaty. It's got that rich, full Martin tone with a nice pronounced mid-range because of the top. Uh, it's got a Fisherman pickup in it, and you get a hard shell case. I'm going to review that again. American guitar, guitar company, building guitar south of the border, all solid wood, with a pickup and a case for under a thousand dollars. I challenge you to find something similar at this price. You won't. I do this for a living, so trust me, I know what I'm talking about. So really, really great guitar. Uh, it sounds good, it plays good, and it's, it's affordable. You know, so it's kind of, it's checking off a lot of boxes. So uh, if you like a triple O, they've got one. Like I said, Dreadnoughts, triple O's are in this range. Cutaway models with pickups, with cases, all of that stuff. So huge, huge fan of these. Let's listen, let you listen to the mid-range warmth that is the DRS-1. If you prefer Spruce, by the way, DRS-2 is your animal or maybe the DRS-G. Check it out.
Okay, so the next guitar is actually the entry level into Martin's American made guitars, and that is the 15 series. What I'm holding right now is a D. 15, DC 15E, which is new for 2017. Um, I gotta do a little rant. The American built Martin guitars are incredible. They're historic, they're top of the line, you can't go wrong. And the fact that you can buy this series for as for an affordable price as they are available is amazing to me. Um, I love these 15 series guitars. This one's very, very cool and it has a lot of options. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about kind of what's available in the series. Rather than talk about all the specs of this guitar and stuff, that would take forever. Most of it really wouldn't matter um, on this video. If you need to know nuances of a particular model, then you know we can get into that. It's available on our website, you can call us and so forth. But what we want to do is really illustrate to you the variety and quality uh, that you can get from the American made Martin guitars as well. Um, so top of the line, the 15 series is an all mahogany series. Satin finished, understated appointments. Rosewood bridge, rosewood fingerboard, very simple rosette, satin finish, uh, dark stained mahogany top back and sides. They have been a price leader and very popular line in Martin's uh, lineup for decades, um, and rightly so. They have a fantastic tone. When you have mahogany back and sides paired with mahogany top, genuine Honduran, hard to get mahogany, that's getting rarer and rarer all the time, that has this wonderful tone that should not be uh, ever mistaken as a second tier tone wood. Fantastic mahogany, right? You have that in this tone wood with this bracing and this price point. <coughs> Talk about a working musician's guitar um, and something you can enjoy and just, just cherish. So check out DC-15E, there's also triple O's, there's double O's, there's triple O 12 fret slope shoulder, uh, you get this dreadnought, um, there's a OM body now, you can get it with a cutaway, you get it without a cutaway, with pickups, without pickups, a lot of variation, but the 15 series is a value leader for sure. So let's give you a listen. Okay, so we, we just saw the 15 series. We're moving kind of up and to the side at the same time. Because what we're gonna be talking about is a new series, or a fairly new series from Martin in the last 10 years or so, and that is the Performing Artist Series, or the PA Series. Now if you've shopped Martin guitars at all, these are the guitars that you'll see have a PA designation in the name. Um, and they have a variety of body shapes and tone woods available. And some of these are made in Mexico and some of them are made in the US. And the, the idea behind these is to be, again, a value proposition, solid top, back, and sides. You can get some with sapele, some with rosewood. They, but they're designed for the working musician with some modern appointments paired with Martin's tradition. So what do I mean by modern appointments? Well, for one, we have pickups with onboard tuners. We have a uh, low mo uh, modified oval neck profile with a slightly wider one and three quarter inch nut. Um, we have dreadnoughts and we have OM bodies, but we also have the GP, which is the grand performance body um, that's available. And that's what I have. Uh, actually, this is an OM. So the GP is a little bit deeper and a little bit wider. Um, and then the OM is kind of like your traditional body size, sl sl uh, shallower depth, tighter waist, dreadnoughts, you should be familiar with at this point. Um, so a lot of value here again, which is something that you should see that we're, you know, as we're going along, Martin's giving you a ton of value for your money in these price points. Um, with the solid wood construction, hard shell cases, the pickups, all of this stuff. And again, a great sounding, great playing guitar. So the, uh, the PA series is going to appeal to those who are really working musicians, I think, is, is who this is geared towards. Uh, it says it in the name, right? The performing artist. So if you need a, a, a lot of guitar for your money, for under $2,000, you can get a guitar that's going to feature solid wood construction, that Martin design, that typical Martin tone, uh, with modern uh, playability and, and onboard electronics. I mean, 
there you have it, right? So this is an O embodied uh, OMPCA uh, 4R, which is uh, it's got a gloss Sitka spruce top, rosewood back and sides, um, and an O body size with a cutaway electronics. So let me just let me put this out to you because for your comparison purposes, okay, YouTube, American built, historic, well known brand, onboard electronics. Hard shell case, solid wood construction with East Indian rosewood back and sides for under $2,000. So go find some comparables and you'll see what I mean. Value, quality, excellence, Martin. Let's check it out. Okay, so I have a new guitar in my lap, but before I talk about this specific guitar, there, there's something that you need to understand about Martin's catalog because it's about to get a little weird uh, from a numbering standpoint and, and keeping track, and it's very important that you understand this. So we, just a second ago, looked at a PA, a performing artist, which is a series from Martin Guitar. We looked at a 15 series guitar from Martin. They have 16 series guitars. They have 17 series guitars. What I have in my lap is a triple O 18, um, or actually, I'm sorry, it's an OM 18, uh, which is new for this year, E. Very similar to a triple O 18, longer scale. Um, same features, aesthetics, tone woods, finish, as a D18, which is a, a, a very, very famous guitar, right? Hank Williams played one. I got to play Hank Williams D18 in the Martin Factory. I know y'all all hate me now. Um, anyways, but here's the thing. This is not an 18 series guitar. And, and I want to establish that because we're about to look at a few guitars and they all fall into this category. If you're on Martin's website and you're looking at series of guitars, this guitar is going to fall under the standard series. The next guitar we're going to look at is going to fall under the standard series. The guitar after that is going to fall under the standard series. And the standard series is the largest, I think, largest series of guitars by number in Martin's lineup. Um, and this is really owned to these being the standard bearers, the quintessential models that Martin is known for. So what do you have in the standard series? Well, you have things like I just mentioned, triple O 18s, D 18s, been in their lineup for decades, right? D 28s, HD 28s, D 35s, HG 35s, OM 21s, triple O 28s, OM 48s, D 45s, did I say 48? 45s. OM45s, D45s, 41s, 42s. All of these very, very famous models from Martin are in the standard lineup. So you'll understand what, by me saying that, that I can't say everything in the standard lineup has rosewood back and sides or mahogany back and sides or Sitka spruce tops or one and three quarter inch nuts or scallop bracing because it's not consistent like that. What you have in the standard series is a variety of guitars that Martin's been making for decades that are famous that have variations based upon your needs. So we've done comparison videos like this. A D28 is got tapered bracing and HD28 has scalloped bracing. That yields a different tone. They're both spruce tops, they're both rosewood back and sides, they have different uh, you know, binding options on the necks and so forth. And if you look at those guitars for, for what they are and delve into the specs, you'll begin to understand who they're for. But they all fall under the standard series. Same thing goes for the Marquis series, which is like the standard series higher up. You have some signature models in there, like the Eric Clapton Triple O 28 EC. You also have um, some of the historic reissue models all falling under the Marquis series, which are basically as authentic as they can get takes on the standard series as they were built pre-World War. So, 
there you go. So we're going to talk about this one because this is very new. Uh, it's a uh, it's an OM 18 E. Uh, the electronics for this year on this are the Fishman uh, or a VT or this is very cool, the LR Bags Anthem. These have just been released. Just got it, super excited. I love this pickup system. Love it, have it in my own guitars. And this is a great guitar. Sitka Spruce Top, scallop bracing, slightly longer scale, beautiful mahogany back and sides, open back tuners, tortoise shell binding, very vintage aesthetic and appointments, toned top. I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, let's check it out. So this little guy in my lap is part of the standard series and this is a, another new for 2017 model. Uh, this is a 0028. Um, so the 28 line in the standard series has a lot of the same appointments. It's Sitka spruce top, it's rosewood back and sides, it's crisp white binding, uh, the same dot inlays, the hand carved volute, which is just cool, look at that, um, are on all of these. Uh, this is a uh, addition to this lineup. These are the open back tuners, and I really like these. I, I've said this on videos before. There's nothing wrong with the Grover tuners, but on these Martin guitars, and I think it's, it has to do with their history. I mean, 1833, it says it right on the headstock. I love these open back, old vintage style Butterbean tuners on these guitars. It works, and this will be another video, but just to let you know, the D28 is being redesigned with open back tuners and some of a more vintage aesthetic. And I really like that, I welcome that. So I like that they put that on this new model. It's a lot like a Triple O28. Triple O28 is famous. It's been in the lineup for a number of years. But a double O is a little bit smaller body, tighter waist, smaller overall. Same short scale as a Triple O. And this has a scalloped bracing inside, which means that the top moves a little bit more freely than it does on the triple O, which means with a light touch, you get a nice response. So again, standard lineup for Martin, going to find a wide variety of guitars and really wonderful guitars like this guy. So here's another standard series model, but it should be as, I don't know, familiar to some of you as a good pair of nice old jeans. Uh, if you're familiar with Martin guitars at all, then you know about a D28. New for 2017 is a more modern take on the D28 in the standard lineup. So this is a DC28E. Martin hasn't gotten rid of the D28, so if you want a bread and butter, old school, no cutaway, no onboard electronics, D28 is there for you. But if you, like a lot of people out there, have wanted a D28, but hey, you play up the neck, you want a cutaway, you need electronics because you play in a band and you need to plug in and you, you want to buy a guitar with the, the pickup already on there, Martin has heard you. And so, new for 2017, they have this. DC28E and it's a D28 with a cutaway and electronics. The electronics on this one is a Martin or, or a Martin slash Fishman or a VT which is a fantastic um, pickup that they've had for a while. One of the things I like is that they've gone with sound hole controls okay so you have a control on the bottom and controls on the top there's nothing in the side Okay, so if one of your problems with electronics on a guitar is, is holes in the side of the guitar, I feel you, okay? I understand. 
no holes on the side of this guitar. So nice, clean, unadulterated, fantastic sounding pickup. Really, really is. And otherwise, it's a D28. It's, it feels great, it sounds great, it's what we've, you know, I think a D28 probably more so than a lot of models, maybe a D45, uh, is that Martin tone. When people say Martin, it's, it's what you hear in your head. It's the sound in your head. So, uh, very cool that this is available for this year. And again, it's part of the standard series. So after we move on from this guitar, I want you to remember, standard series, marquee series, artist series, there's a lot of, a lot of different body sizes, tone woods, options in there. We're here to be experts for you, so you don't have to learn everything. I've already done that because I'm a nerd. So if you have questions and you're trying to find the guitar, we know which one will help you get to where you need to be. So let's check it out. DC 2080. Okay, I promised we'd come back to this one, and so we have. Um, we're highlighting a custom shop model to illustrate a point. If you go to our website, if you go to alamomusic.com, go to Acoustic Guitars and check out Martin Guitars, you will find a few custom shop models in our, um, in our store currently available. They're all different. We have a double O with Guatemalan rosewood back and sides and Adirondack spruce for the top, which is just beautiful. It's got beautiful fountain, tree of life inlay stuff on the headstock and just kind of get poetic thinking about it. Beautiful guitar. Um, I handpicked woods for a Coco Bolo Triple O we have. Uh, you know, and this is a Quad O um, European Alpine Spruce top with Bubinga. I love saying that. Uh, waterfall Bubinga back and sides. Um, and it's got a beautiful tone to it. Abalone rosette, some beautiful inlay, Bubinga headstock overlay. The point is, more so than just about any other acoustic guitar custom shop available from any major manufacturer, Martin gives you the most options. I mean, for the most part, if you can dream it, Martin will find a way to do it. They have amazing artists and craftsmen in that factory and if you find a custom shop guitar that we have, we'd love to put it in your hands and help it find a home because they are the pinnacle. Anything built in the custom shop, as far as I'm concerned, are the pinnacle of Martin's craftsmanship um, and the customization to build an heirloom quality instrument just for you. So we have models like this that are already made and we can guarantee to you that this sounds phenomenal and you can try it out and you'll know yes it sounds great but if you want to build your dream guitar we can help you do that too and that's what's really fantastic so we've talked about all the versatility all the nuances all of the 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 options that are available in martin's lineup we've now reached the point where the sky's the limit you can choose whatever you want and we'll help you get there we'll help you put it together and with our expertise we know what sounds good together and what doesn't sound good together so if you've been dreaming of a Martin all your life and you want to go all out and get your custom guitar, contact us because we can help you realize that dream. In the meantime, check out this little ditty on a custom Bubinga guitar. And if you love the way this sounds, you know where to find it.
Well, I hope you enjoyed and got something out of this buyer's guide for Martin guitars. Um, I'd love to go through every single model, body size, tone wood that Martin makes and makes available. Um, but frankly, that would take forever and uh, you'd probably never reach the end of that video. So if you have questions about any of these guitars um, and you want to add a Martin to your lineup or maybe you're, make it your first guitar, I want you to contact us. Go to alamomusic.com, follow the link in the description of this video down below and you'll find us online. Um, contact us, call us, email us, um, or come in and see us in the store uh, because we have uh, a very, well-educated sales team that's here to help you find the perfect guitar to fit your needs. We're all about this. We want to help you make music. And I have found consistently over the years that if you find the right instrument for you, it will inspire you to do just that. So if you have any questions, you know where to find us, alamomusic.com and near the Riverwalk in beautiful San Antonio, Texas. Uh, if you have any questions, you can also comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.